welcome to the Tom Ward Show, where I interview the biggest influencers in the world. Make sure you subscribe because I've got some big interviews coming up. I'm working on Dixie, Chase, and Avani. And check out my old interviews with Bryce Griffin and Quentin Solo and so many more. We're sitting here with the great Cynthia Parker. How are you? I'm doing good, Tom. How are you? I'm good. We finally made this happen. We were supposed to do this months ago. And I made yeah. the mistake of putting that on social and asking for questions. And your fans are no joke. They have been bugging me for months. When is it coming out? What happened? Please interview her. They love you. Oh, I love it. I love it. That was funny. That was a really fun time. That was like six months ago, I think. Damn, that long. I think it was like six months ago when we tried doing it. Yes. Like, it was like such good footage too. It was really good. I know. It was a shame. <laughs> You were at the old house, right? We couldn't figure out. We've had many technical difficulties. We couldn't get, we couldn't get Wi-Fi. The camera didn't look right. You're like walking around the house. <laughs> there was like, I think like people in the living room maybe talking. So here we are. Well, we're good. How's Canada? You're up north? Um, not up north. I'm a little bit more in the city, but oh, it's okay. very cold. Very nice though. <laughs> very refreshing. How's, sure. how's COVID up there? I heard Canada's not really doing a great job. What's going on? We just got a stay at home order. So we're back in lockdown again, um, which is, which is totally fine. We're, we're hopefully this one will do it. And then maybe, um, I don't know, hopefully by the summer it'll be a little bit better, but yeah, oh, I'm not man. going anywhere. I'm not going oh, anywhere. Sucks. <laughs> so why did you have to go back? Was that a thing? Like, did you have to, or you just want to go home and be with your family? Um, I only had six months um, in the U.S. as a Canadian, so my six months was up. I used it all in one in one thing instead of taking because I think you can do it like you only have six months. So you could go there for three months, then come back for a little bit, and then go for another two. But I just did all six months, so now I either have to wait six months or I'm working on a visa at the same time. So. Oh, okay. She'll be for, back by the summertime. That's what everyone wanted to know is when she coming back. Yes, summertime? I want to be back as soon as possible. Like as soon as possible. Wh yeah. Where are you going to live? Have you even thought that far in advance or no? <laughs> Honestly, no. Uh, definitely want my own space, um, my own place, whether that's an apartment, house, whatever it might be. But yeah, I haven't really thought that far about it. <laughs> no, co no content houses? No. <laughs> No. no, are you are you over it? I'm not. It's not. I'm over it. But I I think I had my time. I did my time in the content house. Yeah. What ha it's, what happened yeah. there too? Like, was it because everyone left and it was? I mean, it's old news now. But I was just curious. Was it the management thing? Is that why you left? Is that why? Um, I think numerous amounts of reasons. <laughs> There's a whole video. If anyone I saw that, yeah, video that you can definitely go watch. But um. Yeah, I think it was just, it was my time to head off the train and now there's a bunch of new members. So, you know, it's their, it's their time to shine and deal with the content houses. So, but I'm, I'm done, <laughs> I'm over it. And I think it was like that for a lot of girls. I think, I think just putting, you know, mental health first for a sec was it. And that's all kind of what we did. And yeah, I think we're all much happier. So <laughs> yeah, it's good, but yeah. How how is it like you're 16 now, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy. How yeah. how do you deal with that? Do you get a lot of hate from um like haters or fans of other influencers that you may not get along with, and then they come over and hate, or just they're they're just normal haters who just come on just to bug you? How does that all work? like hate hate about my age or like hate? No, no, no. No, 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 hate in general. I was just saying you're 16, oh, yeah. which is wild to deal with all this, but like, do you get a lot of hate on TikTok and social and Instagram and stuff? Um, I think I'm my own worst enemy, to be honest. Like, I think I will post something being like mildly confident in it. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna upload it. And I'll see like one comment that's not even really hating. It might just be like, I don't like your outfit or, you know, and I just, I'm like, 
you know what? I'm going to delete it. And the last like week, I'm not even kidding. I've deleted like all of my recent TikToks because I look at them too much and then I start to hate them and then I overthink it and I just delete it or I'll see like more than three hate comments and I delete it. And it's just like, I don't even take it personally. I'm just like, I really liked this TikTok or post and you guys didn't like it. So I'm, it's going, it's going away. I'm not dealing with it. Um, really bad. I think that, I'm my own worst enemy though. <laughs> wouldn't that be every TikTok? Like every TikTok you make, you've got to get negative comments in there somewhere. So how do you not take them all down? Also, my holy grail is you can comment filter on TikTok. So you can write certain words that you never want to see ever. Um, so that's kind of like my BFF. So I don't have to like look at certain words. Um, sure. Just but, curious, what, what did you block? Like is Quentin blocked? Like you don't want to hear <laughs> comments comments about the breakup or like, what do you, what do you um, filter I think out? They're like really stupid ones. I think that's just like ugly, like, <laughs> like gross. Of like, course. Just like comments that you wouldn't want to hear. Like, I don't know your face or lip fillers is a huge one like my lips like getting duck lip comments is a great one too but yeah yeah <laughs> it's a bunch of little like there's just like stupid little things oh sure that stuff hurts like you had to yeah. grow up quick and i'm curious like so you're you were 15 when we talked before you're 16 now but you moved to la when you're 15 from canada did you come by yourself or like how'd you sell your parents on that idea um it wasn't really about selling my mom. My mom has always been so supportive of me. And um, I was touring at 14. I was touring across America at 14. And um, there was always adults too. I feel like so many people think that I was like by myself, but there was always management. My mom did not send me to California without knowing where I was, who, uh, who like was picking me up and all that stuff. So I was under a management from 14 to 15. Um, and I lived with her. She had this little house and I lived with her for every time I go to California and my mom knew her, knew where I was and I was just doing what I loved. And, um, I'm super thankful that my mom was super supportive of it. So it wasn't really convincing. It was just kind of, um, allowing me to pursue social media, I guess. So. Are you still in the high school or how did you work all that? Um, I'm still in high school. I, uh, I only did one year of public school. I went one year to high school and then that was it. I was like, absolutely not, never again. So I've been doing online and I'm graduating next year. So <laughs> what do you mean never again? Were you the most, you had to be like the most popular kid in school. I mean, to have a huge following, which every kid wants to be an influencer. Like you legit had, you know, hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of followers at the time. Didn't everyone want to like hang out with you? Um, I mean, I actually at first it was like a whole bullying situation because TikTok wasn't like cool. It wasn't a cool thing to do at the time. It was kind of like, what are you doing? Like you, like you look stupid. I don't know what you're doing or where you think this is headed. Um, so and then gradually throughout high school, I think uh, my following kind of went up, and then that's when it was like, oh hey, now can we hang out type thing. Um, and I also started a high school without knowing anybody there. I went to like this brand new high school, like knew absolutely nobody. And I still have like two friends to this day that have always stuck with me from high school. But yeah. Do I, did, they come out, did they come out to LA with you or? No, <laughs> none of not? my friends here have been out to LA ever. Oh shit. You got to get your, you got to get your girls out. I know. I'm like, I'm trying. It's hard COVID too. It's really hard with COVID. I know. I'll be respectful of it. So hopefully <laughs> maybe in the near future, I'd like that. But yeah. So, so how are you in LA at 15? Like I'm thinking back when I was 15, if I was famous and kind of living by myself, okay, there's management checking up on me. My mom calls, whatever, but like, really you can do what you want. How did you not go crazy and start partying? And like, how'd you avoid all that? I think um, I've been raised super, super, super well. Like I've been, I've, you know, I'm, I'm told like, um, I was told like my rules going into it, like my curfew and what I, you know, I'm still, I'm still young. So I didn't really have the option to go party and do all that fun stuff. But I think it was just a huge 
life lesson. Everything you you're, you shove this 14 year old girl in California, you're just like figure it out. Figure out how you're gonna eat every day. Figure out how you're gonna get your laundry. Figure it out. And that's exactly what I did. And I learned, you know, I don't want to party and I don't want to do these things because I I need to keep myself in check. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want to be sent back home. So I was very like um, in my own bubble type thing. Um, I've learned a lot, like a lot being having to do that. I think I've learned more than I ever have in my year of high school, I think, um, mentally and physically. So everything is just like a life lesson. Every mistake, everything that you do, you just grow and learn from it. That's all you can really do. So I'm dealing with like problems that I don't think any teenager would have to deal with to like mid twenties, but I'm over here doing it at like 16 and it's just a huge maturity and growth, I guess. So. Like what kind of stuff? Like, what do you mean? Taxes. I had to deal with taxes. You got to pay your taxes, girl. They sneak up on you. That was a big, like, what the heck for me. Um, Learning how to eat and cook. Um, I've gotten really into cooking recently, especially being home. Um, Cooking myself meals. um, Stuff like that. Getting from place to place. A lot of it was Ubers. So having to, you know, I had to like plan out my Uber money of like how much I want to spend on Ubers for the week or whatever like that. And just being super careful with my money and how I spend it. And um, yeah, I, oh my goodness, being home and hanging out with the people here is like so crazy. So crazy to me. It's like two different <laughs> worlds. Oh, because you've lived a much different life in the last year than the average high school person. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, back to money and taxes. So when did you start? really making money at this. I mean, you were on TikTok and you start getting followers. You're a great dancer. When does the money come along? Like, how did that work? What did that look like early? I I don't even remember my first brand new. I really don't. But um, my first big one for me was, I think, October of 2019. I signed my first Fashion Nova contract. Um, which I, I just kept working with them because they were awesome. But, um, that was my first like big kind of, um, deal for me. And from there, it's just been like pretty consistent with brand deals. And then I just recently signed with an awesome new management. So, um, that's also been really good. They've been getting me some really good deals recently too. Um, but it's, it's crazy. I remember thinking, I think that I'm getting even like paid off of live stream. I was like, this is a thing. I was like, this is really a thing. Like, this is how people can make money. This is so crazy because you're just so passionate about it. And to be able to also profit from it is so cool to me. So, yeah. Um, what is the <laughs> first, because people have no idea. Like I know a little bit because I interview you guys all the time. But what does that first deal look like? I mean, is it over 10 grand? Is it over, like, is it over 10 grand? Without for me, for my first Fashion Nova one, it was. Um, and that was a really big deal for me. That was a really big deal for me. Wow. That was last year, 2019. Oh, 2019, that's two years ago. Okay. Sorry, that feels like a year ago. It's crazy. What would your parents think about that? Because I'm guessing you made more on that deal than they make in a couple of months, probably. <laughs> so like, what did they yeah, think about my mom, that? My mom likes to be super like, um, I don't want to say jealous, but she's like a funny <laughs> jealous in a way. She's like, whatever. Like, I'm going to go work my nine to five job. Will you take pictures? Like, she's super like jealous about it. But I mean, it's, it's true, but She's just the best mom ever. She's so freaking supportive of me. It's it's crazy. She helps me also handle my money, but she's very just so supportive of everything that I do. I love it. That's great. Is your dad around too? Is he supportive? No, no, he's not. Um, my parents split when I was like eight, maybe. And then he's just never really cared to be in my life since. So it's always just been me and my mom, which is cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's always just been me and my mom, and it, we're kind of like everyone likes to compare us to like Gilmore Girls sometimes. That's <laughs> how we are. Like I'm not even kidding; it's awesome. Yeah, I'm super thankful for that. It's funny, like a lot of TikTokers are 
children of divorce. I don't know why, but like a lot, yeah. it seems like most TikTokers I've interviewed, yeah. it seems like they're all, you know, their parents have divorced. I don't know why that is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. As long as like, I think you just have that one supportive parent. That's really all that matters. Or just someone that, you know, is going to be there for you and support you through everything. That's all that really matters, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, it sounds like that's your mom and what else do you need? You know, that's it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What else do I need? Exactly. You got yeah, your Gilmore so, girl. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. So the other thing that you had to grow up quick too is, okay, dating in high school. Like I dated in high school, made a bunch of mistakes, was an asshole sometimes, you know, but no one was watching other than the people in mm. my high school. Yeah. Not you, you know, you go out with Chase or you go out with Quentin, everybody's watching, everybody's commenting. What was that like? Cause you're just a girl dating like any other normal high school girl, but it's a much, much different thing. Like, did you have yeah. to, did you have a lot to learn there? Did that surprise you kind of people's, how, how invested people were? I think it is crazy how much people invest in like relationships. Like, I think it's so, it's so crazy. Cause that's, you know, your boyfriend. And then you have other girls supporting your boyfriend and fan pages for your boyfriend. Like he's so hot. Like, Oh my God, he's so late. And it's, 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 it's awesome. It's so awesome. But I, I mean, I don't think it's difficult. I think social media is literally showing off your life, you know? And especially if you're with your significant other all the time, I think it's awesome to show off that relationship and that person. And um, I don't really think I, I learned much from it. I think it's just, it's cool that people invest so much in it. And um, yeah, I think also if you, you know, you set the rules with your significant other and you're like, this is what I, like like on social media like how far or like how much are we going to post of our relationship how much are we going to keep private like what do we you know I think if you set that that bar with that person it, it makes it a lot easier you know so you don't get into arguments about like why would you do that why would you post that why? you know what I'm saying so I think just setting the you know like what your boundaries are with that person when it comes to social media makes it a lot easier um and just having respect for that person always, honestly. That's really all that I've learned <laughs> from it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I've definitely made some poor decisions by, I, I, that's another thing that I've learned is not to post your feelings on social media all the time. I had to delete Twitter for my own well being because Twitter was my emotional support system <laughs> where I would just tweet any emotion that I felt at the moment and then would feel awful about it the next day and be like, why would you do that? <laughs> so I deleted it. <laughs> um, that's another thing. It's just, uh, I made, I've made the mistake in previous in like my previous relationship by being just making my like anger, just taking like anger and like personal feelings out onto social media when like, I don't know, childish thing to do. I've, I've been childish when it comes to like relationships. So, um, for this one, I, I definitely was just super respectful. I was like, I set the bar, you know, had that conversation. It was just like, be as, as mature and simple as possible. Because again, I've learned that. Yeah. Gotta keep the emotions to yourself, girl, for sure. That's definitely what I've learned. Um, but yeah. I feel like I totally just went off of the question that you asked. No, think. no. I think it's a shame because I interviewed Quentin too. And I just liked him. He's just a super likable guy. But Yeah, he's an awesome guy. But you guys yeah. are handle it very mature because I look at, you know, it's funny. You know, you follow TikTok insiders. You know, I follow those guys and the other T ones on Instagram just to kind of see who's doing what and who's, you know, up and coming. Yeah. But you look at these yeah. breakups. It's so funny. It's like watching a high school show on netflix you know what i mean it's like oh what happened the here so the yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. unfollow and i don't even yeah. know <laughs> who's watching because i never understood that like do you know how they do that to go so and so unfollowed so and so are they constantly looking at their 240 people they're following to see did it change yeah. no right i think i think if you i don't know i mean every relationship is different obviously but um Quentin is an awesome dude I have nothing but love for him you know I, I don't I don't want to be childish about it I want to always be on good terms with the people that I love you know so um yeah it's funny though that is a good point it is funny. 
<laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it's just like if you see them broken up, I feel like the first instinct is to see if they still follow each other, I guess. But yeah, it means nothing. Though. I don't think it means much, but yeah. Well, good job. I mean, it seems you guys were very mature. You didn't see any negativity. And it's not easy to break up, especially in the public eye and being an influencer. It's not easy to do that without getting in social media wars and having fans, you know, your fans versus their fans kind of go at each other. So have you talked about why you broke up or did you guys keep that quiet? Um, no, definitely just kept that private. I think that's the, the one thing that we really have because our relationship was so public. Um, I mean, we, we broke up a while ago, but um, I think I said something maybe publicly a few weeks ago. I'm like losing track of days and months. I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, I think that's just the one thing that's super private and personal out of respect for both of us. So, but love him to death love the kid to death yeah absolutely <laughs> like there's really nothing no bad blood there's nothing bad to say about him ever but yeah <laughs> good, job, you, good job you guys you know and i think that's enough talk on that but um yeah congrats on <laughs> congrats on being mature oh, thank so, you <laughs> so oh, we always focus kind of on business stuff too so you go from a fashion nova deal to I'm always curious too of where people's money comes from. Cause like interviewing the Sway guys, not Quentin so much, but like Josh and Bryce, like their pie looks different than say yours because they're kind of controversial. So they don't do a lot of brand deals, but they're much more involved in investment and those kind of things. So more, right. I'm guessing more money comes from there than yours does from investing and stuff. So like you took a pie of where your income comes from. Is it all brand deals or is it, you know, TikTok creator fund, is it like, where does it all come from? Um, it's honestly all brand deals, whether it's a little audio that someone might send me like, Hey, can you do this for this much? Um, or if it's clothing brands, like, can you do this? I'll pay you this. Or like at any kind of company is any brand is, is mostly where it will come from for sure. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to get on this, the best version of myself at the moment. So I'm doing, I'm trying to really, um, get into the business type of thing and really actually be super duper smart with my money and not make much like as can't speak. I can't freaking speak. I'm getting so nervous, Tom. I'm getting so Are nervous. you really? Yes. Why? I don't Wait, know. Did I, did I do something to make you uncomfortable? I'm sorry. No, I just get so nervous because I never want to say the wrong thing. Oh, don't worry. First of all, if there's anything you don't want in, we'll edit out. No worries. And really, the only things I want to talk like about. Like, I feel like I'm blabbing. Like, I feel like I'm just talking absolute nonsense. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. No, no, no. You're very good. Your fans will love this. Guys, if you like this, comment below. Make Cynthia feel good. <laughs> but no, and just to give you a sneak peek, like, I really want to know kind of future plans. I want to talk about your Triller live show. Yeah. I want to talk about collabs. I want to talk about YouTube. Are you going to do that more? Um, so how about this? There, those are topics I want to talk about. Cynthia, what would you like to talk about? <laughs> um, are you talking about Triller? Let's talk about Triller, girl. What's up okay. with your Triller show? Um, so I am doing a Triller live show um that will be coming soon you can go follow me on trailer at cynthia parker um i'm going to be going live once a week and just talking girl things whatever it might be it might be showing you a little part of what i do in a day whether it's like my workout routine what i eat in a day like just random things about me um and just talk and have super fun time and i'm very excited because i love going live and talking to you guys so Following right now. Okay. How how long? Because I don't think I've seen a Triller live show. Like how long are they a certain length of time? Or you just like go on? Like thirty minutes. Like like super pretty long. Like thirty minutes. Just oh wow. But even longer. Like it doesn't even matter. Thirty minutes though. Around that of just sort of like a little show, kind of like a little Netflix show, but me, just me. 
I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> That's cool. Do you do you are you gonna do like a lot of prep for that or do you kind of just go, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about my diet oh, and no. workout there, or there's some prep. I'm really taking this seriously. I have like a whole journal dedicated to just thriller ideas of what I wanna do, talk about. I'm really setting this up as like an actual show. So I'm super excited. It's not gonna be like my Instagram lives or anything like that. I'm really, really putting some effort into this. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. I'm excited. Do Very fans cool. get to interact with you on there or no? It's just you. Yeah. Oh, they do. Like comments and stuff like that, of course. Yeah. So. Just like just like TikTok Live where you can see them kind of scrolling through with comments and questions. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> do you have any, you know, dreams or goals of, you know, doing more YouTube? Or is that something you're interested in at all? Um Yes, I, I do want to do YouTube. I just, I like, again, I'm my own worst enemy where I'm like, if it's not perfect or exactly how I want it or how I watch it, then like, I don't want to, I don't want to post it. So I think I just, it's a, it's a, it's a moment of trial and error of what videos I like, um, what I like talking about, what I think is interesting, uh, what format of the video I want, all that fun stuff. So I think it's just kind of trial and error. Um, also different editors and all that fun stuff. So um, hopefully I will have a YouTube video out within the next few months because I really do want to get on it. I just want it to be perfect. I'm, I'm so annoying to myself. I'm so annoying to myself. You're going to go either on yourself because there's never going to be a perfect TikTok right. or there's never a perfect YouTube video. I mean, they're always going to have like little things that you don't like, or maybe you don't like the lighting or you think you can look better or whatever. Um, yeah, you gotta go easier on yourself. <laughs> I know, you no, got, I know. As long as it, it looks good in my eyes, that's all that really matters, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got millions of people who love you. And so you obviously you're doing something right. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so, I hope so. So what else are you working on? So you got YouTube, maybe a couple months. We got to hold our breath and wait for that. We got Triller Live. When does Triller Live start? Um, that should be starting within the next few weeks. In the next three oh, weeks, nice. I think. I don't have a certain date, but okay. um, the next like three weeks, two weeks. All right, nice. Everybody check that out. What else? Are you promoting anything else? Um, not really promoting anything else at the moment, but um, I got a lot of things up my sleeve, let me tell you. I feel like everyone says that. I feel like everyone's like, yeah, I got so many projects. But genuinely, got some projects coming. Works. You can't, can you tease us at all of what you got coming up? Like, um, without giving it away? <laughs> um, definitely some acting stuff. Um, and oh, I don't even want to say it. Okay. I feel like it's so awful because, like, every time a TikToker says, like, music, everyone's like, no, like I, just, I, don't know. I feel like TikTokers get judged like extra hard when it comes to music because you are a TikToker trying to do something other than TikTok. So everyone's like, you can't do it. Um, but um, I, me and my best friend Sabrina were in the studio like almost every week before I came back home. And now that I've been back home, I've been doing vocal lessons like every day. Also, I have zero music background. Like I'm not gonna take credit for like anything. I think I played clarinet in like grade eight and thought that <laughs> like that's the only like, but I've been a dancer my whole life. So my, my musicality is decent. It's very good. Um, and I really, really liked it just being in the studio. I liked how my voice sounded. I was like, I didn't know I could do that, but okay. Um, so I've been home just doing vocal lessons, writing lots of songs, but because I'm home, I don't have a studio um, available. So when I'm back in LA, it's grind time for sure. So I'm very, very excited about that for sure. And acting stuff. I'm very excited. <laughs> That's cool. Do you have like an, a project you're doing or already filmed yet or just stuff coming up? Um, it's hard because I'm here. So when I'm in I LA, know, I know. <laughs> that sucks. But, um, I haven't filmed anything. No. Um, nope. So doing stuff. Yeah. I think people are taking TikTok for seriously with music. I mean, I just saw Nessa was on Jimmy Kimmel maybe, or mm -hmm. he's going to be on Jimmy Kimmel. And then Jaden 
is blowing up. I mean, he's hanging with Travis Barker and making music with him. Like that's a legit Travis Barker is like a legit, one of the best drummers out there and mm -hmm. he's working with a TikToker. So that speaks highly of what you guys are up to. Yeah. They're so, yeah, they're both so like, they're so, Oh my goodness. The, oh, I, please cut that out. That's awful. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm losing a tongue. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, listen, we, I think we hit everything. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, I don't think so. I think you killed it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be critical of yourself. You just told us you are. So you're going to watch this and go, fuck, I should have said this to a friend. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly that. what's going to happen. Fuck that. Yeah. You, know you laying in bed right now watching this? Stop it right now. Stop it right now. <laughs> no mean comments below, please. I mean, <laughs> Cynthia, does, Cynthia doesn't need that shit. So, you know, calm yourself. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. I'm working on it. Working no, on it. you did great. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Stay on for one second. But th guys, thank you so much for watching. Cynthia is the greatest for being on. Make sure you subscribe. I do this every week or two weeks. Interview the biggest influencers in the world. I got some good ones coming up. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thank you.